Hello, everyone, and welcome. I am the Wolf Cook. And once again, welcome to the Wolf Kitchen. And today we are having another Wolf's favorite crunchy fried chicken breast with some mushroom cream sauce, sided with some creamy pasta. Now, with each one of my videos, you are free to adjust the ingredients and the seasoning to your liking. However, if you want it to be yummy and delicious, and you'll follow my recipe as close as possible because it already has been wolf tested and wolf approved. Also, before we go any further, if you have not already, please hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, and let's get started. Now, the first thing we do, we always prep. We start with our seasoning and ingredients. First off, we have our black pepper, sea salt, flour for dredging the chicken breast, organic peanut oil for frying, chicken broth, you can use one and a half to two cups, panko breadcrumbs, mushrooms, I'm using baby bella, Heavy whipping cream, one quarter cup. Milk for egg batter. Two eggs for our batter. One lemon. Butter, but we're only going to use one half stick. One cup of pasta, and for our uh, pasta, we're going to use egg noodles. Two chicken breasts, and uh, we just make sure that the breasts are thawed. And at this time, you can start boiling the water for the pasta. Now we start with our two chicken breasts. We're going to tenderize the meat in between two pieces of saran wrap. You want to use the uh, uh, flat side of the uh, meat tenderizer. Keep tenderizing. Do one side, then the next. Then do the other chicken breast. Do the same thing. One side. Then the other. And now it's done. And now we can work on the batter. Now we're going to make our egg batter. We're going to start with cracking the two eggs. Then we're going to add milk. Then we're going to mix well. Now we're going to season with salt and pepper. We're just going to do one side. Then the other. Next, we're going to dredge our chicken breast in flour. First, we're going to do one chicken breast, and then we're going to do the next. Now, we are ready to coat the chicken breast with the panko breadcrumbs. Now, we're going to dip the chicken breast into the egg wash. We're going to make sure both sides are coated with the egg wash. Next, we're going to coat it in the panko breadcrumbs. First, we're going to do one side and then the other. Make sure it's coated well. Now, we're going to coat the second chicken breast. Do the same thing. Now, it's time to get wolf cooking. Now, to the boiling water. I'm going to add about a tablespoon of oil to the water. This prevents the pasta from sticking. Now we're going to add the pasta. Now we're going to stir. And then we're going to wait about seven to nine minutes for the pasta to cook. Now to the pan of melted butter, we're going to add the mushrooms. And we're going to stir them in with the butter. Start mixing well. Now when the mushrooms turn dark brown and it looks like the uh, butter start to sizzle, then you can add in your uh, heavy whipping cream. Keep stirring. Uh, stir well. And now it's time to add the black pepper. Add about uh, two pinches of black pepper. 
once you have stirred in the uh, black pepper uh, into the sauce, uh, now it's time to add the chicken broth. Turn to a high flame, bring to a ball, and now it's time to check the pasta. Now it's been about nine minutes and the pasta looks like it's ready. I'm gonna let it sit in the water for about two more minutes before I take it out and drain it. Now it's time to heat the oil for the chicken. I've preheated my skelly for two minutes. Now it's time to add the oil. Now I'm gonna heat this all up for about one more minute before it's time to add the chicken. The oil has been heating for about a minute. Now it's time to add the chicken. I'm cooking on medium heat and to make sure that the uh, coating doesn't burn. So you wanna keep checking the temperature, but right now it's looking good. I'm gonna cook this for about three minutes before I turn it over to the other side. It's been cooking for three minutes on the first side. And now it's time to flip it over. Do you see that golden brown? That is what you're looking for. That does look good. Now I'm gonna adjust the heat, turn it down a little bit more, and I'm gonna cook it for three more minutes. Now I'm gonna check my mushroom sauce. By the time the chicken is finished frying on the second side, the mushroom sauce should be finished. Now, before the chicken is finished frying, we're going to finish the pasta. First, we're going to melt some butter. Then we're going to squeeze about a quarter of a lemon. Then we're going to stir that up. Then we're going to add in the noodles. Then we're going to stir that up. Then we're going to add in some parsley flakes. Then we're going to stir that up. Then we're going to add two tablespoons of our mushroom sauce. And we're going to stir that in. The pasta is done, and now it's time to plate. First, we're going to add our pasta to the plate. Next, we're going to add our chicken breast. And next, we're going to top off our chicken breast with the uh, mushroom sauce we made. Now, if you want your mushroom cream sauce to be a little bit more liquidy, then uh, just don't cook it this long. There you go, everyone. It does look good. Now we're going to garnish the plate off with a lemon. Here you go. Crunchy fried chicken breast, the mushroom cream sauce, and with some creamy pasta. Now for the moment of truth, we are going to taste the food. Look at that. It does look juicy. Now I'm going to add me a piece of mushroom. Look at that. Mm -hmm. That's good. Well, everybody, 
The food is done. It looks good. It smells good, as usual. And it's almost time for me and Mrs. Wusk to eat. Mrs. Wusk, are you ready to eat? Oh, yeah. She's ready. Now, in the coming weeks, I will be putting out videos for you single people who don't have time to make a nice and healthy meal like this. So look forward to my videos in the future. Now, for me and Miss Wolf, who's about to eat this food, make sure all you people, if you hadn't already, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, make a comment, hit that like button, and make sure you tell your family, your friends, your coworkers, and even those neighbors, come watch these videos of the Wolf Cup. See you soon.